Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. In today's one, we're going to be going over Destiny 2 PC settings and things you should change in game to help improve your FPS as well as your response time. This is not going to be a video about anything to do on Windows 10 itself. This is just going to be an in-game settings guide. Keep it nice and short and simple. So once you're in the game, what you want to do is you want to open up your settings. So you want to just skip past keyboard and mouse and controller because that's all just personal. I might make a video about this in the future about how to improve your aim and stuff like that on keyboard and mouse or controller, but you want to head down to video. Once in video, you want to make sure that you are set to full screen mode. If you're not in full screen mode, your game's just not going to run as smooth and it's not going to run as responsive with as high frames as possible. So make sure you're on full screen mode. That's just kind of a given nowadays. Make sure you're running your game in full screen unless obviously you have like multiple monitors and you need to be able to switch between them quickly then run in windowed full screen but if you're trying to help your frames out as much as possible run in full screen make sure your resolution is set to your base monitor resolution so i have a 1080p monitor so i have it set to 1920 by 1080 if you have a 1440p monitor make sure it's set to that for vertical sync you guys can set this off i recommend setting this off this adds a huge amount of input delay um and just make sure that's off. If you guys are having like really bad screen tearing, I recommend upgrading your monitor and just having this on in the meantime until you get your new monitor, but uh, make sure that's off. Frame rate cap, I have it on personally. You guys can turn this off. However, if I have this off, I literally get like 500 frames while in orbit and my GPU is just getting taxed really hard and I don't really care because why am I gonna get three times the amount of frames I can visually see on the monitor for no reason just doesn't make sense so I just have it capped to 140 and it helps the GPU stress a little bit field of view that's totally optional but I recommend if you play on PC with mouse and keyboard especially that you have this set to 105 screen bounds and brightness this is totally optional however I do recommend setting your screen bounds to actually fit the proper size of the monitor and then brightness just go with something that's not too bright where your eyes are going to hurt obviously <clears throat> heading down here anti-aliasing now i stream and record so obviously i want to have a prettier game so this is going to kind of contradict with people who are trying to really squeeze out fps but for anti-aliasing i have smaa if you guys want to absolutely max out your fps obviously turn it off i wouldn't even recommend messing around with fxaa i've never heard anything good about it and it's just not as good as smaa and the performance difference between these two is just not that significant so i recommend just having it either off to help frames or have it set to sma for the quality screen pace uh sorry screen space ambient occlusion i have it set to 3d if you're trying to help frames obviously set it to off uh this one i don't know too much about but i recommend just having it either 3d or off depending if you're trying to go for visual or quality uh, texture make sure that you have this set to either 16 or 8 or just straight up off uh, to help out with frames personally I have it 16 times I like to have a pretty image most people I would probably say for most people to stick with eight times you'll be fine it'll look good and you'll also help uh, your frames out a little bit texture quality this is actually a big one this does not affect FPS like really at all but it affects the visual of the game very, very significantly. Make sure this is set to high or highest. If you set this off, or sorry, you can't set it off, but if you set it to lowest, the game will look like absolute crap. Do not set this to lowest. The game will look like crap, and it does not affect FPS very much at all. So I recommend high or highest for sure. Shadow quality, very different. Set this to lowest. You guys will not notice this in the game. There's so many things going on in the game. Shadow quality being set to lowest, you guys won't even really notice this at all. And it helps FPS incredibly. Like, this will give you a very big bump in FPS. <clears throat> this setting alone has given me like a 10 FPS boost overall. So definitely set that to lowest. Shadows are just hogging resources. Depth of field, recommend this to be off. This just tries to add uh, realistic like a realism to the game by adding like a blurry like making things in the distance blurry but it's just hogging resources set it to off and you'll get a good fps bump from that as well for the environmental character and foliage detail distance i recommend setting these all to medium or high uh i don't really like things to be rendered like too close to me but you guys could go low if you're trying to really max out fps but uh, I personally have them all set to medium. I think medium is the sweet spot there. 
uh, obviously folio shadow, uh, foliage shadow distance. This cannot go down to low. However, if it could, it, I definitely would set it, but make sure that's on medium. That'll also give you a good FPS bump. Light shafts, this I would also set to low, but it can only go down to medium. So make sure that's on medium as well. So basically everything right here is all medium. <laughs> Uh, motion blur definitely that's a big one set that off that just screws screws with you big time it doesn't look good it throws people off it hogs resources literally nothing good about motion blur i don't even know why people put that in the game anymore it's just turn that off wind impulse trying to add more realism to the game but i personally don't notice it nor do i care about it so i just set that to off render resolution this is at 100 percent um this, be careful with this setting because this can really impact your FPS. Uh, if you go uh, obviously above 100% uh, you will start to really impact your FPS because it's going to start hogging resources uh, to make the game look better. And if you go below it's going to start to really hurt the visual quality. So I recommend not going any lower than like 90% with that. Uh, but if you guys uh, want my honest advice just leave that at 100% because you're not going to want to mess with that too much unless your system is really low spec and you're really hurting for frames. HDR, I can't even edit that, but if you could, just probably leave that off. Chromatic aberration and film grain. Uh, this adds, like I think, soft shadows to the environment, and Destiny's just naturally a vibrant game, so that just doesn't contrast well with it, so I just recommend that off. And then film grain. I don't like film grain on any games. It just kind of takes away from the visuals, and this adds, like... Uh, you know just like a, a like a texture to the screen that i just don't like so i just recommend leaving film grain off so those are the settings if you guys want to copy them i'm going to do one last little scroll here and i recommend you guys take these settings and apply them and you guys will definitely see a pretty big uh bump uh sound this is all totally optional and then i'm just going to go into something in gameplay really quick this isn't going to really affect your fps at all but this some of this is very important uh so h UD opacity if you guys want to be able to really see like your entire screen uh, Like even through like your like your nade super ability all that stuff If you want it to be less transparent make sure you set it to low If you don't want to see it set it to off, but I don't recommend you do that I recommend setting it to low if you want to really be able to see like every square inch of your monitor set it to low But for me personally, I like those things that will really pop out and let me know like what they're at So I like it to be at full which is default uh, reticle location I think by default it's on console console default is not actually at the very center of your screen make sure you set this to PC default for whatever reason console default the reticle is not centered so this keep that in mind reticle color you guys can mess around with that that's all optional hints make sure you turn that off uh, this is where you see your FPS in-game display you obviously can do this through Steam but uh, I do actually not mind the nice green vibrant color of the FPS display in game. So I actually just run the in game. So if you guys want to use the in game FPS display, there it is. And then the text chat, this is just really helpful. Uh, text chat recommend if you're playing on PC, take advantage of the text chat on PC. It's really helpful. Uh, profanity filter, I recommend just turn that off as long as you're not too sensitive. Auto hide, I do recommend having that on. So after a while, the text chat will just hide itself automatically, which is kind of nice because, you know, you don't need to see the chat up constantly if nobody's talking. Background opacity, just leave that at medium default. Text chat looks fine like that. Whisper chat, recommend that stays on by default. And then automatic for all three of these. So that way uh, you just opt in automatically. And that's just really helpful. So that is going to do it. Uh, just some little things in here to help your quality of life and then all these video settings will have a pretty good looking game like the game will still look fine but you'll get a very good fps increase out of this uh following these settings um and i might make a video in the future about things you can do in windows 10 to help further improve your uh fps in game but that is going to do it for me today guys thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys go and apply these settings to your uh your own game and let me guys let me know what you guys uh think and how much fps increase you guys get by following this guide so that's going to do it for me today guys thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one peace out